Speak to us about mentorship, because you mentioned several times, you know, with us talking mentor, 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 or, you know, what role did, did you reach out for mentors? Did you know people in your family? How did you identify a mentor once you decided, hey, I want to go down this track? So when it comes to working in the athlete transition space, specifically, at the time, and this was early on, this was like 2017 going into 2018 when I started doing this work, there weren't a lot of people, I mean, there's not a lot of people today doing it, but even back then, really the only two people I found were Derek Furlow, who we both know, who was at the conference, um, and then Jonathan Orr, who's the founder of ATS, and I do a lot of work with his organization as well now. I found both of them just searching for like athlete transition and trying to see what came up. And those two individuals really stood out to me. So I reached out to them on LinkedIn. They really felt my heart and my passion for doing this type of work. And they actually, I was blessed that they were willing to have a conversation with me and kind of help me um, lock in what I wanted to do and do it my own way, a way that was true to me, um, because we all have the same underlying mission. So, you know, that's something I preach today, like go find people who are doing what you already want to be doing. Absolutely. And connect with those people, get on their radar, ask them for advice, you know, and add value to them if you can too. Sure, sure. So, right. Not only what they can do for you, but how can you help advance their project or whatever they have going on? So I think, and you can always add value. You might not think so, but sometimes you can bring that one piece that they need, you know, to advance their project or their platform. So always think about what can I do for this person more so what can they do for me? That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you have been successful as something that I still see as a mountain in front of me, and that's becoming an author. So <laughs> you publish how many books now? So there's two out, and there'll be one or two more before the end of the So basically by the first quarter next year, I'll be a four-time author. Nice, nice. So one of them is Thrive After Sports, right? But you got yes, sir. a nice glowing light behind you. you know, <laughs> drive up sports. And then yes, sir. the other book is a combo book. So tell us about Athletes Entrepreneur. Yeah. So drive up to sports. Like you, this is the first book. That's yeah. me on the back with the bald head shining right there. <laughs> I see you guys watching on video. Um, well, give us a, a quick synopsis of what that book is about. Everything I do, like I said, the coaching, the podcast, drive up to sports, the book. This is not, I always tell people, this is not my life story. I know I'm on the cover, but, you know, the subtitle is uh, it's Thrive After Sports, Helping Athletes Dominate the Game of Life. So when I wrote this book, I wanted it to be used as a tool, right? Nobody cares. No one wants to pick this book up and be like, my name is Taj. I was born in Pasadena in 1991. Like nobody cares about any of that. This is like a book that you can pick up. And by the time you put it down, you have moved through the transition and have a clear direction for where you want to go and be executing it. So it's like my book, my, my coaching program in book format, my podcast in book format. That's how I look at that. Wow. Um, this book, Athletes Entrepreneur, this is a collaboration book. This is myself and 20 other former athletes turned entrepreneurs. My goal with this was like, there's so many people and everybody keep an eye out for Dr. Burgess being in a future volume of this <laughs> because like there's so many dope, dope people out there in the world like you and I who are former athletes, who are entrepreneurs, who are doing great things, who are giving back. And I wanted to create a project. I was on my DJ Khaled, you know, like how can I bring a bunch of people together who uh, are doing great things and we all create one product. And it's great because whoever picks up the book, they get a bunch of different stories, a bunch of different people doing cool things. Um, and it also helps spread the word about what we're doing because someone might buy the book from myself or one of these other 20 authors and anytime someone does that they get exposure to all these other cool people so no matter who you buy the book from you're getting 20 other people who are doing great things you know man i think that's so awesome because you know many times in medicine they'll have a review book right and the review mm. book will have multiple contributors talking about you know knee shoulder meniscus acl whatever everybody comes with their specialty but to do that for sports and the transition for sports, I think it's so awesome. It's such a great idea, you know, and to have that many people on one cover. I mean, I'm going to buy the book just because I see that many faces on the back <laughs> of the book, right? You know, that gives it credibility right away. So I think that's an awesome idea. And yeah, I definitely look forward to volume two and, you know, being able to contribute any way that I can. So that's an awesome idea.